You're listening to Bodhi Light Tales, the podcast for mindful people on the go. Hello, this is Miao Guang. Today's Bodhi Light Tale is the Four Sons. Once upon a time, there lived a devout Buddhist named Anjika. She highly respected the Buddha. And had complete faith in his teachings. Every morning, without fail, Anjika would visit the Buddha and pay her respects. One day, Anjika said to the Buddha, "I would like to invite you and your disciples to my home to receive my offerings." The Buddha knew Anjika well and realized her intentions. He replied, "I see." What do you wish for in return for your offering, Buddha? I see I am unable to hide anything from you. I hope that by making this offering, I will receive enough good merits to have four sons. Anjika respectfully replied. Why do you wish for four sons? The Buddha asked. Buddha, I have a plan. If I have four sons, I hope that my first son can become a successful businessman and earn lots of money. My second son can be a farmer, gathering a good harvest every year. I will encourage my third son to be diligent and serve as a government minister, bringing honor to our family. Lastly, I hope my youngest son will renounce. Practice your teachings and devote his life to attaining enlightenment. Like you, Buddha, he can become another great being and guide all people towards liberation. If my wish comes true, I shall be content. Anjika explained. The Buddha nodded. All right, your wish shall be granted. Thank you so much, Buddha. Anjika replied. With her palms joined, she prostrated to the Buddha and departed happily. A week later, the Buddha led his disciples to Anjika's home to receive her offerings. Anjika had prepared a feast and gifts as offerings for them. Two months later, the Buddha heard that Anjika was pregnant. Soon after. She gave birth to a boy named Badrika. As a child, Badrika was bright and clever, much adored by his parents. Although Anjika had wished for four sons, she did not have any more children. So Badrika received all of his parents' love and attention that would have been shared between four children. Years later. Anjika and Badrika were having a chat. Anjika told him about her offering to the Buddha and her wish for four sons. But mother, you did not have four sons; you only have me. Badrika replied. Smiling, Anjika hugged Badrika and said, "I am content just having you." After hearing his mother's story. Badrika thought to himself, "I will fulfill her wishes." After graduating from school, Badrika started a business. With his wits, in less than a year, he had already earned lots of money. His parents were extremely pleased. Not long after that, he closed down his business and turned to farming. Badrika worked diligently in the fields, cultivating the land so well that he produced twice the usual harvest. Everyone in the village praised Badrika for his excellent achievements. Now, not only was his family wealthy, but they would never have to worry about food. So Badrika now proceeded to fulfill his mother's third wish by becoming a government official. Being talented and well-spoken, he quickly became a high-ranking official. 
Padrika had now brought honor to his family. He was a dutiful son, accomplished in many fields, and had made sure his family lacked nothing. Yet Padrika felt unfulfilled. After a year, he returned home. Sitting by his mother's side, he said, "Mother, I always remember your wish for four sons. I have now fulfilled the roles of three sons. There is only one left." What do you think if I leave home to become a monk? If I do, your wish for your last son shall be realized. You have been such a blessing. I shall miss you dearly. Anjika replied, "Mother, I truly want to do this." Badrika said with determination. All right. I would be very happy to see you take the path and follow the Buddha. The next day, Badrika bid his mother farewell. Soon he arrived at the Buddha's monastery and requested to join the sangha. Buddha, please accept me as your disciple. I would like to renounce and practice your teachings. Is this your wish or your mother's wish? The Buddha asked. We both wish for it. After many years of success and gaining wealth, I have realized this is truly what I wish to do with my life. I believe that there is more to life than simply making money and being successful. I wish to cultivate my mind and one day be of service to others to help them achieve success and prosperity. Very well, I shall grant you your wish. The Buddha said. Under the Buddha's guidance, Badrika practiced diligently and became a great arhat, teaching and helping all beings. He later returned home to help his family attain enlightenment. This story highlights the importance of having aspirations and the sheer will to see them through. In this story. Badrika's goal in life was to fulfill his mother's wishes. This may look simply like an act of filial piety. However, if Badrika did not have the will to fulfill his mother's wishes, he would not have achieved as much as he did. As the saying goes, "Where there is a will, there is a way." Moreover. Having the will to make our wishes come true gives us clarity of purpose and courage in life, just like Badrika. When we have a purpose and will, no challenge is ever too difficult and no task ever too big. Just as Venerable Master Xingyun says, "With will, a hundred thousand miles is not far. Without will, even your neighbor is a world away." This is Miao Guang. Thank you for listening to Bodhi Light Tales. Subscribe to Bodhi Light Tales and For Your Podcast, and have stories delivered to you every week. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom. <laughs>